Today we are at a stage that we can predict who will develop an autoimmune disease, when he will develop the autoimmune disease, and which are the organs that will be involved in these kind of diseases. But that's not the only thing that we can predict. We can predict who will respond to different um, modalities of therapies, and we can also predict who will develop side effects from different modalities. And therefore, prediction will be one of the leading um, a subject in this meeting. Uh, we are aware that this prediction may be harnessed to develop different therapies to prevent autoimmune disease. One of them will be vitamin D, which has almost no side effect and has been shown in experimental models and in some clinical trials to be very beneficial for uh, autoimmunity and preventing autoimmunity. So this is an ideal compound which has no side effect, does not need prescription of physician, and still can be useful, uh, hopefully, to prevent different autoimmune disease. But in the future, maybe in some people who are at a higher risk of developing autoimmune disease, we should develop a vaccine against EB virus, a virus which is well known to induce at least 33 different autoimmune diseases. So this subject should be vaccinated to prevent their exposure to EB virus. And therefore, uh, this um, will be discussed in detail in several sessions in Leipzig, April 2016, in the Congress of Autoimmunity. And the prediction issue will be delivered by expert or world expert who did some studies, very famous studies, like some of the studies have shown that the incubation time of autoimmune diseases may take sometimes even 10 years. And therefore, we physicians and scientists have to be aware of those subjects who are at risk and to predict uh, that they will develop the disease and take the measurements to prevent those autoimmune reaction. See you in Leipzig 2016 in the Congress of Autoimmunity.